The Nigeria Labour Congress, NLC, has disclosed plans to embark on mass protest and industrial actions in Imo State on the first day of November 2023 over what it called the persistent violations of the rights and the privileges of workers by the state government. The president of the union, Joe Ajero, who made the disclosure in Abuja, said that despite its repeated efforts to engage in constructive dialogue and reach amicable agreements, the Imo State government has become a habitual and serial breaker of these agreements continuing to trample on the rights of workers in the state. Fortunately, the government has relied on its powers to deploy fierce and coercive forces of the state against trade unions and their leadership to continue on its line of action. It has allowed itself to be misled in its belief that the continued use of threats and intimidation will perpetually dissuade Nigerian workers from taking their destinies in their hands. It is on this note that we want to warn the Imo state government that we would not hold the governor accountable if anything happens to any worker or trade union leader in the course of this lawful protest. All the threats we have received of violence against our persons are noted, but we are not deterred. According to the Labour leader, some of the most egregious infractions committed by the government are refusal to implement previous agreements, outstanding salary arrears, unjust declaration of workers as ghost workers, vandalization of the NLC state sectorat, implementation of discriminatory pay, non-compliance with national minimum wage, among others. The union is also calling on the Imo state government to honor its obligations and recommit to respecting the rights and privileges of workers. The violent interference and disruption of Imo state delegates conference demonstrates a balatant attempt to impose favored candidates on the workers, undermining their democratic rights. Nigerian Labour Congress calls on all stakeholders, including civil society organizations, to stand in solidarity with the workers in Imo state in the face of these egregious violations. We implore the Imo state government to honor its obligations and commit to, the, to respecting the rights and privileges of workers. As long as it refuses, we will continue in this course.